The tension between the United States and Russia is red hot after claims a Kremlin fighter jet taunted a US Navy destroyer stationed in the Black Sea 12 times as the two superpowers continue to clash over Ukraine. The US has slammed Russian President Vladimir Putin for provoking war with no real diplomatic efforts to end the crisis in sight. Another Obama-Putin phone call against an increasingly tense backdrop in Ukraine. President Putin told his U.S. counterpart that these protests are the result of the Ukrainian government's inability to take into account the interests of its Russian-speaking population. The U.S. insists Russia is paying protesters to fuel unrest. We do not meddle in the affairs of Ukraine. It goes against our interests. We don't have any agents there, not from the military intelligence or the domestic security service. The latest accusation is that a Russian fighter jet made repeated close-range, low-altitude passes over a U.S. Navy vessel in the Black Sea. The West is unified in its insistence that tougher sanctions are the way forward. We have agreed among foreign ministers to expand the sanctions, the second tier uh, of sanctions, and to uh, add further names to those sanctions. Uh, so we have taken that decision in the Council today. We've also stressed the urgency uh, of completing the work on a possible third tier of more far-reaching sanctions. The U.S. will likely follow suit. They clearly want to respond briskly. The U.S. Treasury has guaranteed a $1 billion loan with Ukraine's finance minister on the condition that it carries out economic reforms and unpopular austerity measures. Financial support to Ukraine and penalties to Russia are pretty much the sum of the West's diplomatic arsenal. So far, sanctions have had a fairly modest impact. Targeted Russians have laughed them off, saying they're honoured to have made the list. But the U.S. insists sanctions can bite. Further sanctions will likely hit individuals in the energy, banking and mining sectors. They need to be effective because once this hand is played, there's very little else the West can do. Amanda Walker, Sky News, Washington.